Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure, continuing right where we left off in the last video. We gathered, uh, let's see, uh, 1800 gems, including the 250 we got in the very first dimension, dimension one. And then we ranked up from rank zero to rank one. And then we spent 1500 of our precious hard earned gems on this beautiful cube right here, which is making it so that we never have to scoop another unit of fuel manually again, which is fantastic. Okay, so uh, the typical process, I mentioned it in the last video, you need to um, get up to rank up island, like you have to launch up to rank up island, so enough fuel to get high enough, 20,000k is the goal, and you need to have enough cash uh, to get up there, uh, or when you get up there, you got to have at least enough cash to rank up, and then you're going to collect gems, and then you're going to go rank up. So that is the same process we're going to follow right here, except we don't need to do all of the fuel grinding and equipment upgrading. We are going to follow the same um, uh, rocket upgrading plan. So we're going to put 100 fuel in and we're going to launch. And the goal of this particular launch isn't to ride it, although you're welcome to, but the goal of this particular launch is to get the next rocket. And so I'm just going to head right over to the rocket shop. And as soon as this launch ends, we will have over $100. When we did the 100 fuel launches uh, in the last video, I think we made about $113 each time. But here we're going to make more because instead of going a speed of 10, we're going a speed of um, 12, 15% more. And so we make about 15% more money. I'm just going to be consistent and use exactly the same numbers that we did before, the fuel numbers. Uh, last time we did a couple of launches at 100, but we're not doing that this time. We're just doing one launch at 100. And now we're going to do one launch at 700. Is that the magic number? Let me just double check. Yeah, 700. Um, and the reason that we don't need to do the multiple launches is that we were doing typically, you know, we did like three launches at 700 fuel. And we took the cash from the first launch and we upgraded our fuel scooper. And then we took the cash from the second launch and we upgraded our backpack. And then we took the cash from the third launch and upgraded the rocket. But we don't care about the fuel scooper or the rocket anymore. We're not using them because we've got that amazing cube going back and forth. Well done. So all we're doing now is launching for rockets. We're just going to uh, launch enough to get up to the $15,000 rocket. That's the goal. And that's going to be the one that takes us up to rank up island, just like before. Uh, and we don't have to spend any time grinding for that fuel, and we don't need to spend extra launches getting better backpacks and uh, fuel scoopers. We're just doing one launch at each level, just to get us uh, the next rocket. And I think that this launch got us like 1.6K before, and you could see more, more money right now, because instead of going at a speed of 20, it's going at a speed of 23. And so more than 1.6K, about 15% more than 1.6K, because we put the uh, rank up points towards rocket speed. Uh, okay, next uh, launch is a 2000 fuel launch. So let's do it. And as usual, we need to reset, even though the rocket is right there. Okay, and uh, so I will uh, just let this launch happen. It'll take, uh, you know, I don't know, a minute or something. What is happening up there? Cool stuff. Pyrotechnics. Uh, okay, so we'll let that launch happen, and I will come back when that launch is winding down. Okay, and we're back about a minute later. Notice I'm in exactly the same place I was before. The launch has almost ended. I didn't spend the launch time, uh, you know, grinding for fuel because it just doesn't matter. The fuel cube is so much better at collecting fuel, at least until I've got lots of upgraded equipment, which I'm not going to get, that there's no point in me uh, even gathering my puny little 100 fuel very slowly. No need to even help. Look at how much fuel we have here. Plenty. Okay, uh, and then uh, we just bought a rocket, so now it's time for us to do the last rocket uh, launch in order to get the best rocket that we are interested in. So this uh, is a 5,000 fuel launch, just like before. And we'll reset, and we'll launch. And I'll just be waiting here for this launch to finish, and then I will come back. Okay, and here we are just waiting around patiently. Yeah, look at that guy up there. He's pretty handsome. Uh, waiting patiently for this launch to end. We're not doing any fuel collecting ourselves. There's no point. Our gem cube is overpowered. Okay, so we just made 18k. Let's spend 15,000 of it right here on that rocket. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to teleport to pad. 
we already have the thirty-three thousand dollars, uh, thirty-three thousand fuel, basically that will get us up to rank up island, which is pretty sweet. But we're not going to rank. We're not going to launch to rank up island here. We got to be really careful about the order. So if we uh, put our thirty-three thousand fuel in, we will get above rank up island. In fact, we'll get about fifteen percent higher than rank up island. So we could put less. But when we do that, we're going to make about, you know, 110000 something like that. And that's going to bring us up to about $115,000 by the time we get up to rank up island. But every time you rank up, it costs more money to rank up the next time. In fact, it costs $50,000 more dollars than it costs the next time. And so the first rank up that we did, the only rank up we did, cost us hundred grand. This rank up right here is going to cost us hundred fifty grand. The next rank up is going to cost us two hundred grand, and so on. And so what we want to do is make sure that we have enough cash here. We're going to do a launch right now, like an extra launch, that will generate some cash. So that uh, the amount of cash we have here plus the amount of cash we have when we do our big launch to rank up island gets us comfortably above the $150,000. So uh, what's important is that you have uh, at least the right amount here before you do your official launch to Rank Up Island. And I'll tell you in each video what that official amount of dollars is. Um, in this case, it's $50,000. I want to do some launches right now to the tune of $50,000 in total sitting in the bank. Um, all of these numbers, uh, you know, the fuel numbers that we did earlier in this video, and then this $50,000 goal, all of those things are written in the video description. So if you lose any of the numbers that I say, just check it out down below. It's written all out. So what you could do is, for example, uh, just launch with 5,000. That will generate you some cash. Not enough cash. You need to get up to 50,000. That's our magic number for this particular rank up. And you could do another $5,000 launch and get some more cash and just keep doing $5,000 launches until you exceed the magic number. Uh, I'm going to do a $15,000 launch or 15,000 fuel launch. For some reason, it puts an extra hundred in sometimes. I'm not sure why. Uh, but I think that this 15,000 fuel launch will get us uh, just over the 50,000 that we're after. Um, but it, it's, it's no different. You could do three 5,000 launches or one 15,000 launch. It's going to end up with the same amount of money in your bank account at the end. So you don't need to feel like you got to be super efficient here, super particular, and, and you know just land above the 50,000 in one flight or whatever. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to set an alarm and I'll come back to this game in about three minutes and I will pause the video until then. See you soon. And we are back in exactly the same position because I didn't spend a lick of energy trying to do any manual fuel collecting. Our Zenith Cube is doing great work on their own. Almost 40,000 fuel, plus all the fuel we've been burning on the upgrading and then the cash generating. So I did my uh, 15,000 fuel launch. It gave me over 50,000. That's all you need. You don't need to cut it super close. 60,000 is fine. 100,000 is fine. Just anything over 50,000 is good. Uh, and again, all these numbers are going to be in the uh, video description below. And now the launch that we're going to take to get us to rank up island and to get us above the $150,000 we need to rank up is going to be a launch with, uh, I think it's 30,000. Yeah, 30,000 fuel. Again, that number is written below. So let's put in 30,000. And you'll recall that in the um, grinding video, we actually had to grind for 33,000. So how come we can do less now and still get above rank up island? Well, it's because we put uh, all of our rank up points towards speed. So for the same 30,000, so 30,000 fuel now gets us 15% higher than it did before. Okay, so um, you are welcome to, you know, ride your rocket or not. You can watch all the islands go by. Some of them will look familiar to you because we've done them all. There's the white orb at the top. We'll gather that life orb last in our collection of life orbs. Uh, but I'm just going to pause the video here and set my own five-minute alarm. This is kind of a slow trip, although it's getting faster. It's 15% faster now than it was before. Um, but uh, this is a slow trip, uh, in fact, a small time save if you wanted to. I won't do it here, but if I were doing this game for real, I would hop down because there was somebody working on that island and they've already done half of the trees. So a little bit of a time save if you see people doing that, but I'm just going to go consistently in the same exact order every time. And I will come back in about five minutes at the end of this launch. Okay, and we're back after an uneventful trip. It takes about five or six minutes in this fairly slow rocket. We'll get a better one soon enough. But anyway, this trip is now complete, and uh, you can see that this trip accomplished a couple of things. So first of all, we are comfortably above Rank Up Island, which is at 20,000 feet. We're at 21,700. And we have more than the required amount of money to rank up, which is 150,000. 
again, you don't want to cut this too close because if you miscalculate by just a little bit and you're trying to cut it razor thin and you end up up here at 149,000, well, then you got to go do another launch and you got to, you got to do a launch that gets you all the way up above rank up Island. So it's like another five or six minutes. Like the fuel is not the issue. The fuel bot uh, has collected tons of fuel for us. Uh, but it's the uh, five or six minutes of just sitting here in your rocket waiting for you to be able to start the mini games. So don't cut it too close. Just make sure you hit my minimum cash thresholds before you launch up to rank up island. Uh, and now we're going to hop down. But again, we're not going to rank up. We're just going to bounce. And you can see the bounce there because we were a good thousand feet above rank up island. Uh, but we're not going to rank up because we haven't done our mandatory gem collecting yet. We got to uh, get all the gems in this dimension before we rank up. So that's what we're going to do. So we head down to the Cannon Island. So I'll show you the mini games here. They're exactly the same as before. I'll show them to you just this one last time. Look at that swag. Um, so uh, go ahead and, and grab that life orb by hopping up here as usual when doing the mini game. So I'll show you these games a little bit quicker this time uh, just to show you some minor optimizations. Uh, landing on the cannon is so minor an optimization, it's really not even worth uh, trying to do. But a specific landing on the parkour island right below us is definitely worth trying to do. Maybe one more to get these blue things to light up. There it goes. So last time I showed you option number uh, three. Let's take a look at option number two. Two. And like I said, doesn't make any difference which one you pick. All of them will get you gems. The only difference is the, uh, the graphical thing that the laser does. Ooh, that's fancy. Ba-bam. Very nice. Gimme, gimme, gimme my gems. Okay, grab them. Don't even need to wait for the tally to complete as you walk off. Okay, not going to talk because I'm aiming for the chest platform. Let's see if we can hit it here. Space bar. And just like that, we're on the chest platform. And if you can nail this jump, it looks really hard. It's not super easy, but with practice, you can get better at it. Um, but if you can hit this, you can skip the entire mini game. It's like a two or three minute savings right there. So we'll grab our uh, prize. We won't walk off yet. We're going to hop. We're going to walk slowly over, grab the life orb. And then we're still not going to walk off the island because we can't double jump until we do that. Now, if you watch this uh, video again, like you just rewind uh, me landing on that uh, little platform here, you'll actually see that I kind of glitched a little bit. Like I hit the platform and then I was like I was bouncing, but then immediately teleported back to the platform. If you, um, you know, if you're kind of glitching out, like if you're close to this platform and you start glitching out, don't move your character with WASD. Don't jump. Just let the character settle down, and there's a real good chance the game will teleport you right to the middle of this platform. I've even landed like down here. Like if you land somewhere near, I don't, I don't know exactly where the radius is or where the circle is, but there's a whole section where you can land in like right below that platform, and the game will say, "Oh, you met the platform." It'll put you right there, and you can skip the mini game, which is pretty cool. So mission accomplished here. I don't aim for anything in particular on this one. I guess we can go for the uh, the life orb. How about that? Okay. Um, so this is another one. Oh, somebody's done work. Is somebody here? There is somebody here. Oh, we are. I'll take this. Let me get this thing. Kind of nice when uh, somebody does the labor for you. All right. So they grab that compound. Good. So we should have only like, let's see two compounds, one canister. Give me. I don't know why I'm fighting him. We're both on the same team here. And I should be grateful. Oh, he's broken. He hasn't moved from up there. He's so sad. I should be grateful that this person did all the work for us. All right, we just need one compound, so that's going to regenerate like right over here. And as soon as it does, we'll grab it. Uh, surely there are other compounds around, but I haven't memorized the, uh, you know, the locations of anything else here. So again, for swag, we'll hop on the UFO. Oh, they were waiting. They were waiting for the crystal to come back. I see they didn't realize we were done. Okay, and then zoom in so that you can grab the prize. Get out of here. So uh, some of these mini games are cheaper if you have a friend or a stranger uh, working alongside you, especially if you let them do almost all the work. Uh, so typically, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't bother like hopping off my rocket as I was going up, uh, you know, to rank up island, but 
if you see that somebody is working on a mini game where you know like it's quicker when somebody else is done part of it then feel free to hop off that rocket just make sure you're able to keep track of uh, which games you've done and which ones you haven't okay so we'll start our circle as the eye wakes up and heading over here and then heading for this little out of place black tile double jump before walking over Okay, and then uh, because we've got three of these things already lit, we might as well just try to do the rest. So I'm waiting for this one to come back. There it is. And then waiting to see what they shoot. Not the one I'm headed for. Oh, there's that one. Let's get out of here for a second. So I, uh, I wanted to get that one in the middle. Let's wait for him to shoot. Aha! Uh -huh. See, if we had jumped for that one in the middle, then we would have fallen. Instead, we can grab the one in the middle, sit over here, and then over here. And so you can see, hopefully, uh, that I'm practicing what I preach. Uh, I mentioned in the last video that you just want to take your time there. If you feel like you have to be jumping all the time and running all the time, you're, you're going to fall. You're going to make mistakes. But you don't have to be moving all the time. Um, also note uh, that uh, I didn't go into the uh, secret gem section there through that false wall. Remember the, uh, the cave bug? Uh, he's still there, and he's happy to uh, chat with you, but he will not give any more gems. So I don't go visit him. Maybe I should. He's probably lonely. Okay, as usual, I try to grab the uh, orb before doing the mini game. And this is the mini game where, our, uh, as our rocket was passing this uh, Firefly Island, uh, that I saw somebody was, uh, you know, was already working on this particular challenge. And so, if I were off video, uh, I, I would have just hopped off my rocket and joined in and grabbed the orb and, and uh, worked on this um, mini game with them and then grabbed the gems and then I would have clicked board rocket and my rocket still would have been going up and then I would have had to do this mini game by myself right here. I don't know what all the pyrotechnics are gang. I wonder I wonder if at some point we'll have the ability to generate those four blue expanding circles. Hmm. Maybe that's foreshadowing. Okay, uh, so like I said before, this is not the most exciting minigame, but I do quite like the atmosphere, both pre- and post-minigame complete. And then uh, do this one last, grab the gems, and then we'll head right back towards the tree and walk off always in this direction. One small time save, you could actually collect the fireflies here. Uh, and they will stay with you. You'll be kind of like all glowing for the whole next cycle. Space bar to slow down. Um, uh, and then uh, when you come back to the trees on the next cycle, you'll you'll be glowing already. You'll still be glowing the whole time. And so that would save you a trip. You, you could take one fewer trip to that uh, life tree. Here you can just hug this wall. All right, this is really the only, this crystal is like the only one that I actually wait for. I can kind of maneuver my way around all the other ones. Put that one I wait for so that I can get my orb. Um, so a little time save uh, if you want to try that. I've never done it because I don't want to see that glowing, uh, you know, animation the whole time. But it is a time save. Okay, here we hop into the crystal to warp out, and then right down here, and then up to the top. If you happen to miss any of these islands on the way back down, no problem. Just click board rocket and then hop down one island at a time, working your way back to the one that you missed. Just do them in order. That way you'll never miss any of them. Okay, we got our favorite message, all life orbs collected. Creepy guys, wake up. Okay, and they're awake. I think that we could click board rocket right now and it would be fine, but I've never tried it because I'd be so afraid that there was some glitch and I would miss out on this juicy 700 gem reward that I've never done it, but it's probably fine. But I'll wait until the 700 is firmly in our gem bank. 1600 gems, that's exactly what I want. I'm gonna click board rocket. And here we are again, comfortably above rank up island. So we hop off holding W this whole time, probably gonna bounce. And again, just kind of pointing myself, and I can I can jump here, uh, although I didn't for some reason. Okay, now we're ready to rank up because we've collected all the gems and life orbs below. But before you do, you double check that you have the correct number of gems because if you missed any and you rank up, you'll have no opportunity to go back and get them, and you will fall short of the nineteen thousand seven hundred maximum gem goal. So so uh, sixteen hundred is the right number here, one point six k. 
And again, uh, if you ever miss what I'm saying, uh, it's uh, that 1600 gold is written in the description to this video, so go check it out. But once you are convinced that you have the correct number of gems, it is safe to rank up. We're going to go from explorer to adventurer. And as usual, we are going to put all three of our points towards rocket speed. Here we go. One, two, three. And just like that, we're going 30% faster than before. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, I think that's a good place to stop, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, the strategy in the next video is going to be largely exactly the same thing as we go from our current rank 2 to rank 3, um, but then uh, we are going to make a very splurgy but very awesome uh, gem purchase. Actually, we got to go from rank 2 to 3 to 4, and then we'll have enough uh, gems to make an awesome gem purchase. So the strategy will continue to evolve and change and improve as we gather more and more resources and become more powerful. Um, so stay with me and uh, we will see you again real soon.